Hello everybody, welcome back to another Mid-Journey version 5 tutorial. In this one, I'm going to show you how to create your own stock images. Stock images that have exactly what you want in them, including lighting, the where it's taking place, the type of people or actors or objects, everything. We're going to make them exactly the way you want them, and it's going to save you a lot of money, and you're not going to get any of those boring stock images where people are hugging each other and they don't know who each other are. They're weird, they're creepy, let's make it stop. Okay. Two things we're going to do in this, we're going to use Midjourney version 5, and we're also going to use ChatGPT, which is the free chatbot that OpenAI created. So with that out of the way, let's start nice and quick. The first step here is I have written a prompt that I'm going to put in the description below that you can use. Just copy and paste it. I will explain it to you now. Here we go. The first step then, once I've got my prompt here, is I'm going to go to chat, oops, dot openai.com. This is where you can use ChatGPT. It's the free chat bot. So I'm going to create a new chat like this. I'm going to put in the prompt and then I'm going to copy and paste that prompt I created. Again, it's the link in the description below so you can use it verbatim. You don't have to copy this down. And here's what it is. It says, here is a prompt formula for creating stock images for Midjourney version 5. Colon, a photograph of a subject engaged in an action with background context during time of day with type of lighting and shot with a type of lens, shot with a type of camera, and even using the name of the lens. So basically all the photography stuff that you know goes into making really high-end photos, we've basically put those in brackets so that we're creating a formula so that ChatGPT can then go ahead and make suggestions for what's in those brackets. At the end of this, I write, write, I understand if you understand this formula. So I'm gonna go and hit enter. And what I did is I basically said, hey, ChatGPT, do you understand what I just did up here? It says, yes, beautiful. Okay, now that we've got the I understand response, now we're gonna go ahead and think of what we want in our stock image. So write a prompt, write five prompts. We're gonna, we're gonna get five different examples. For example, write five prompts, uh, five separate prompts. Now I'll do this quickly here of a woman working in an office, uh, sitting in an office chair, in an office chair, reading a tablet, whatever, something like that. Some, whatever a, a stock image, for example, would be something like that, right? And again, this could be whatever you want your stock image to be, write it in there, be as precise as possible. It is now, I hit enter, and it's now given me exactly what I asked for it. I wanted five separate prompts that, of this. So I want to take five different cracks at it. And you'll see here when I copy and paste them, it says woman in business attire, sitting in an office chair, reading a tablet with modern office background during daytime, shot with a wide angle lens, Canon EOS R6 camera, EF 24 to 70 millimeter F2.8 to uh, USM lens. like real high-end photography stuff, stuff that, you know, a photographer would understand, but a, a person just looking for an image may not. Okay, good. So it's great, and it, you can see it also filled in all of the stuff that was in those brackets for us. So we didn't have to do any work there. Now, head over to Midjourney, and I'm just gonna go forward slash imagine, and then I just copy and paste exactly what it said there. Keep in mind, you can do a few things. One, you can adjust it before. So if you decide, hey, I love that prompt, but instead of a woman in business attire, I want her in a black dress or something like that, you can always just go ahead and override it. Alternatively, you can make variations upon the final image. So when it, when it gives you the examples, you can click create variations, but we're getting a little ahead of ourselves. So let's go ahead and do another one here. I'm just gonna go ahead and command C or cop, uh, uh, control C to copy in this prompt, forward slash imagine, hit command V, we'll run that one too. Now, it's going to run them both, I'm going to let them finish, and when it comes back, I'll show you the final step. All right, welcome back. So I ran two of the prompts, and let's take a look at what we got here. The top one, this, this is fantastic, this is unbelievably good. These are ultra realistic looking, if I wanted to create, if I wanted to use them as is, all I got to do is click on U1, U2, U3, U4, whichever one I like, and it's gonna go ahead and process them below here. So, I mean, this one here, this is just absolutely outstanding. If I, I clicked on U1, it, it upscaled the image, and then I just right click on it, and I save the image wherever I'm gonna save it to my downloads, and that's it. That's your stock image. You're locked and loaded. This one here, let's take a look. 
outstanding. It does look a little bit wooden, so her facial features are a little bit off, but not too much. This one here is excellent. Let's say though, I, I created them. Uh, actually, I'll show you the other ones first and then, we'll, and then I'll show you the final step. Here's another version, but this is at nighttime. The bottom right one here is very good. The top right one is very good. Let's go ahead and U4 the bottom one here and then say, let's go ahead and let that one run and then watch this. I click on this. I love it, but maybe I don't quite like it. I want it to be during the daytime. So um, I would just go ahead and if I wanna make changes to this image or variations, you can just click on the variations and then go through the prompt here. And she's reading a tablet, cityscape background during sunset. Why not say during, uh, let's do sunrise. All I had to do was just click on that and then just rewrite over top of what I wanted it to say. And that's it. If I want to change the lens to a 2.8 lens instead of a 1.8 lens, done. It will re-roll it and we'll get an entirely new shot. This is how you create stock photos the exact way you want them using Mid Journey. Don't pay for them anymore. Those days are gone. Thanks for watching.